Today is Saturday, 17th of February, 2024, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is Focus on the Life Hereafter. Our theme scripture is taken from Revelation 21, verse 1, and it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Wow! In Revelation chapter 21, the Apostle John tells us about a new heaven and a new earth. Pastor begins. He gives us a description of the holy city, the new Jerusalem. And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. That we can find in Revelation 21, 2-4. Praise God. Verses 18 and 19 further describe the beauty of the city. Imagine a city of pure glass gold. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper. And the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. Ooh, praise God. The 23rd and 25th verses take it even further. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light thereof. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. What a place to look forward to, Pastor says. Your focus shouldn't be on this current world that will be destroyed. Rather, let your passion be all about Christ and the spread of His righteousness around the world as we await his glorious return. Hallelujah. Oh, remember his words in Mark 8 verse 36. Oh, what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? This world, which will surely be destroyed and replaced with another, isn't worth the loss of your soul. So, live your life for the Lord. Pastor concludes. Dear Father, Thank you for your words to us today and for Pastor Chris. So profound. O oh, realistic confession, now meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, my affection is set on the Lord and his eternal kingdom. And I love the Lord with all my heart. The things of the Spirit are of greater importance to me than anything in this world. I am propelled by my love for the Master to preach the gospel in season and out of season in the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, Colossians 3, 1 to 4 says, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth, for you died. Yes, you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Then 2 Peter 3, 10 to 14 says, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Ooh. 
Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you?